Nigerian government has a lot to learn from Britain in the way they are handling their COVID-19 lockdown. Nigeria federal government declared a lockdown without a clear-cut agenda. They went to sleep. Coming out of it has become a real challenge. This is unlike the British government who had lockdown plan and exit strategy. Watch how their Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, clearly breaks down their lockdown exit process. This is not the time simply to end the lockdown this week. Instead, we're taking the first careful steps to modify our measures. And the first step is a change of emphasis that we hope that people will act on this week. We said that you should work from home if you can and only go to work if you must. We now need to stress that anyone who can't work from home, for instance, those in construction or manufacturing, should be actively encouraged to go to work and we want it to be safe for you to get to work. So you should avoid public transport if at all possible because we must and will maintain social distancing and capacity will therefore be limited. So, work from home if you can, but you should go to work if you can't work from home. And to ensure you are safe at work, we've been working to establish new guidance for employers to make workplaces COVID secure. And when you do go to work, if possible, do so by car or even better by walking or bicycle. But just as with workplaces, public transport operators will also be following COVID secure standards. And from this Wednesday, we want to encourage people to take more and even unlimited amounts of outdoor exercise. You can sit in the sun in your local park, you can drive to other destinations, you can even play sports only with members of your own household. You must obey the rules on social distancing and to enforce those rules we will increase the fines for the small minority who break them. And so every day with ever increasing data we will be monitoring the R and the number of new infections and the progress we are making and if we as a nation begin to fulfill the conditions I have set out then in the next few weeks and months we may be able to go further. In step two, at the earliest by June the 1st, after half term, we believe we may be in a position to begin the phased reopening of shops and to get primary pupils back into schools in stages beginning with reception, year one and year six. Our ambition is that secondary pupils facing exams next year will get at least some time with their teachers before the holidays and will shortly be setting out detailed guidance on how to make it work in schools and shops and on transport. And step three, at the earliest by July and subject to all these conditions and further scientific advice, if and only if the numbers support it, we will hope to reopen at least some of the hospitality industry and other public places, provided they're safe and enforce social distancing.